Recurring theme here, back with a difference. What is it with all these observations I keep making? Observations about this and that. Always got something interesting to say, apparently. Communication, that's what I keep trying to do. These aren't just thoughts, they're words. But who am I talking to? This audible collection of my thoughts, what is its purpose? Why do thoughts have words? Do words allow understanding of thoughts? Perhaps without words, thoughts would be unchained things. Not everything is up for grabs. Parts of the world bend to my will, or perhaps are just tethered to me. In a world where I am the only agent of change, do I approach the end of the world, or does the end approach me? Secrets lie in the belly of the beast. Lead me, Path. Lead me to my destination. Onwards! A passing gate is a sign of progress along my path. I must admit that I rather enjoy the progress. However, it seems I am met with a new challenge at every turn. These challenges require knowledge. Slightly worrying. As a god, I consider myself all-knowing. Why is it I must stop and think? Knowledge is obscured from me. All these eyes watching makes me a bit uneasy. Not a fan of onlookers, to be honest. That which I can see exists. Ah, oh, a bench. Brilliant. Something to rest my figurative head upon from all that adventurous walking. But I must be honest with myself. As a god, I feel no real need to rest. Don't know why I made a bench. Doesn't really make sense. Maybe I should rest as an example to others. Uh, no, there are no others. Don't understand why I filled the place with pots, either. I don't have anything to store. Maybe I should make lemonade. I need to invent lemons first, a few other things too. Time to start a list of inventions. Lemons, a lemon press, sugar, the abstract concept of sweetness, a tongue. I definitely need a tongue, but I need a body first. Legs, I want legs. Then I could have footsteps to accompany. How does compartmentalization square with consciousness? This subconscious, what's that doing? Keeping secret knowledge. Even as a god, the idea of trudging through my subconscious is somewhat nightmarish. Some things best not known, even for the all-knowing. Where did all this marble come from? Because it's just here. I guess as god I made it. I can't remember ever making any of this though. Marble requires great heat, pressure and time to form. So how did I make it? Did I just pop it into existence? I guess I could do that. Or did I have it in another universe cooking for a couple of million years? Well, both are reasonable. Maybe both. Changing it up. I need to work on my memory. Look at this! The world bends to my will. More evidence of my deity, the immense power of my mind. Bow before my ample brow, for I can move things with just a glance. Fear my gaze, lest I move you around. What a polite door! Opening itself upon my approach, the right way to treat your god door, I shall give you great treasures for your compliance. This door? What a conniving door. You can see its proud look as it attempts to thwart me. Why can't you be more like that other door? That other door had respect. 
I have bested you, door. Are you not moved? Rotate about me, Bridge. Bow to my rotational power. I wonder if this is normal. Moving things with your mind. It must be. I am normal. That cannot be contested. Normal is the norm, and as the only thing, I must be normal. I am mighty. I rather enjoy moving heavy marble with my mind. It would be a tough job to move this marble by hand, to be honest. What? What if it's all a joke? This whole world? A grand joke of which I am the punchline. What if someone stands, looking on, grinning atop their high horse? An elevated perspective makes it easy to look down. What if someone distant and unknowable were forcing me to stumble around my world? Forcing me to overcome a series of mental obstacles, all for what? To demonstrate something? To teach something? What? Maybe I'm not a god. Maybe I'm a jester. Have you heard the one about the character who thought he was the infinite? His story came to an end. Quite the dramatic irony. Do I make my movements? My steps? I've never thought about a step I've made. They just seem to occur. I'm thrown about this world. Do I control, or rather merely witness my movement? If it is the case that I'm merely witnessing my motion, then is this my body? Or am I an observer? Patience is a virtue I possess. A god has infinite patience. A small proof of my deity. If I get frustrated with waiting, what does that mean? I'm not a god? Hmm. Suppress. Just a momentary lapse of reason. Existential crisis. Everyone has one. Don't worry about it. Suppress. Light has curious properties. It drives out darkness. Or perhaps it's the other way around. Perhaps light is the absence of darkness. I should find out. How much light do you need to fill a bucket? Four? Perhaps my lack of control is rational. I have two observable natures as far as I can see, my body and my mind. My body moves around doing things. It can be pushed away by equal and opposite forces. It is constrained by the world. My mind creates thoughts that it speaks. What is my nature though? Unitary, bipartite or tripartite or something other? How could I know? I have my words. Words are the product of a mind. Therefore it follows that I think. I think, therefore I am. Cogito ergo sum. I move, so I have a body. Maybe a spirit too. Something intangible. A connection with a world I cannot know. Recurring theme here, back with a difference. What is it with all these observations I keep making? Observations about this and that. Always got something interesting to say, apparently. Communication, that's what I keep trying to do. These aren't just thoughts, they're words. But who am I talking to? This audible collection of my thoughts, what is its purpose? Why do thoughts have words? Do words allow understanding of thoughts? Perhaps without words, thoughts would be unchained things. Not everything is up for grabs. Parts of the world bend to my will, or perhaps are just tethered to me. In a world where I am the only agent of change, do I approach the end of the world, or does the end approach me?
secrets lie in the belly of the beast, 